Princess Diana broke new ground with her hands-on approach to looking after her two boys, attempting to make sure they had as normal a childhood as possible amid the strange rules of being royal. Their influence upon the boys went far beyond such mundane tasks as doing the school, in fact it's fair to say they played an important role in shaping Princes William and Harry and the men they would become. William and Harry's first nanny was Barbara Barnes, affectionately nicknamed Baba, the nanny carrying a 10-month-old Prince William from a plane at Melbourne Airport in April 1983. Barbara came highly recommended by the Tennant family, who praised her natural ability with children. The daughter of an estate worker, she had no formal training as a nanny but was was already well-connected by the time she came to the royal family at the age of 42. Barbara spent an increasing amount of time with the boys, and became something of a surrogate mother, particularly to Prince William. It was reported at the time that Diana was jealous of Barbara and felt threatened by her bond with her eldest son. Prince William with his nanny Barbara as they leave St. Mary's Hospital in September 1984, after visiting his newborn brother Prince Harry. In the absence of their parents, Baba even took her charges away on their own family holiday without parents to places including to Scotland and the Isles of Scilly. Diana had given instructions that the nanny's bags should be packed and all traces of her removed, Robert Lacey wrote in Battle of Brothers. Barbara Barnes was replaced by two new nannies. Ruth Wallace was the first to arrive. Diana, William and Harry in the arms of Nanny Ruth at the Guards Polo Club in May 1987. Ruth was a trained nurse who had been a relief nanny to Princess Michael of Kent's children for more than three years. The young princes pictured on their way to Sandringham Stables with Ruth at their Norfolk estate in January 1990. Having found it difficult to cope with the growing atmosphere around the Prince and Princess of Wales, Ruth Wallace eventually left the employment of the royals. Harry was much quieter as a young boy and required much encouragement to come out of his shell. At the time of Jesse Webb's employment in the summer of 1990, Charles and Diana's marriage was as unraveling, the nanny with Princess Diana and her two sons in May in the Scilly Isles in 1991. The hands-on nanny pictured with the young royals and their mother on a theme park ride in Thorpe Park in 1991. With Jesse, the pair were treated like ordinary boys, which is exactly what they needed. William and Kate, the Prince and Princess of Wales, asked Jesse to briefly come out of retirement to help them following the birth of Prince George in July 2013. Nanny Olga Powell is believed to have helped fulfill Princess Diana's wish for William and Harry to be normal and at ease in the real world. Princess Diana leaves the San Lorenzo restaurant with William and Harry and Olga Powell in 1993. The Princess of Wales is pictured with Prince William, left, and Prince Harry, right, with Olga Powell looking on proudly. Even after her retirement Olga stayed close to the family and was invited to key events. King Charles arriving with his sons, Prince William and Prince Harry with their nanny, Tiggy Legberg at Zurich Airport ahead of a skiing holiday. Tiggy Legberg, who would often take the boys on outdoor trips, Prince William, and Prince Harry walking in the River Garn, near the Balmoral Estate in October 1994. Tiggy, who is an advanced fly fishing instructor even once referred to William and Harry as my babies. It was reported at the time that the relationship between the boys and Tiggy became even closer following their mother's death in August 1997. Prince William talks to his former nanny Tiggy Legberg at his passing out Sovereign's Parade at Sandhurst Military Academy in April 2006. Tiggy has remained close to both the royals over the years and is the godmother to Archie, the Duke of Sussex's eldest child.